Hello there everyone, this is Godzi, and today we're playing Filled with Freedom. Um, this is by Sir Carto. This was the same developer that made Why is the Sky Red? And recently I had a, a small interaction with them. Why is the Sky Red came out two years ago. Uh, this, I believe, is their most recent game. So I, I wanted to kind of see how, how experienced they've gotten since they released that first game. So let's jump right in. All right, let's see. This game contains flashing lights. There are also scenes with loud noises. Well, I don't like either one of those. Uh, it was a very long journey. We have just arrived. This is the house your grandparents had lived in. You never really knew them. Your parents always tried to not let you find out who they really were. Oh. Christian, a friend of yours, left a note on the door. You should probably read it first. But now it's time. This is your new home. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. This is your new car. You got it only a few months ago. Until now, you were very happy with it. Until now, you were very happy with it? Oh, there's strange noises coming from behind the wall. Sounds like something is being cut with a saw. You wonder what it could be. Huh, that's strange. Well, hey, at least I got a new uh, van. This is a pretty big house. Uh, there's a key. Maybe this is Christian's car, but why would he live here? Yeah. He picked up a key. Nice. You can kind of hear random noises. I don't know if that was coming from the car or what. Who knows? Maybe that was Christian getting uh, cut up with a saw. Planks? Maybe you can use them for something. Maybe. Okay. Well, pretty normal so far. Oh, there's strange noises coming from behind the wall. Oh, same thing. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's uh, Christian getting his lesson for snooping around. You enter the house, your new home. Oh? Wait, there's a note on the door. Oh, I didn't read the note on the door. Okay. Oh, I see you. What is that? Well, who is that? So I can't move the camera or anything. This is just a straight up cutscene, but. Um, okay. Okay. All right, so this note says, Hey, Marcus, the house is ready. I put the keys in the garage. Tell me if you need anything. Tell me if you need help with anything, Christian. That's nice of you to consider, Christian. All right. So now let's see. All the windows are very misty. You can't see anything inside. Oh, so do we not play inside the house at all? Okay. Seems like a really deserted place. I'm surprised I didn't even move the car into like the garage or something. Um. Wait, 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 wait. That was that was a new thing. Hold on. The strange noises were still there. Maybe it has something to do with the electricity. Maybe. Uh, can I grab a plank now? Oh, the planks looked rearranged. Everything looks rearranged. Oh. Yeah, same thing with the electricity. There's a... That's a hole. Oh, my. <laughs> what on earth happened here? You could you should tell Christian about this. Oh, maybe you could put some planks over it. Or... Oh. I was hoping I'd just be able to jump in, but... Okay, let's just put some planks over it. I haven't even seen my friend Christian yet. I I'm very curious about that. Picked up some planks. Okay. Now we make the slow trek over here. All right. All right. 
<laughs> this should be good. Before you go to work, you should put the seeds you brought into the flower bed. Wait, there's a flower bed? Oh, I guess that is good. I, I was hoping I'd walk over this and it would just break, but... And also, I, I just realized it, we're kind of slanted here. I don't know if that was done on purpose, but everything is kind of slanted. Uh, you took some seeds out of your car. Okay, where's the flower bed? Oh, the flower bed. All right. You hope they'll grow into something one day. You have to go to work now. Okay. So I'm assuming we do small tasks, and each time we do, we get a cutscene, probably? Oh, here we go. Finally, you're home. You have to go to bed now. Okay, so no cutscene, and this time we actually didn't leave the car out front, so we're learning. Uh, I, I'm not even allowed to go over here? Wait, what? <laughs> I want to check out the hole. There's not even any planks or anything. And all my seeds are... Oh, no, they're still there. Okay, cool. Okay, Um, do you have anything else to say about the wall? Anything at all? No? Okay. All right, well, let's just uh, go to bed. Um, The door is stuck. Run. Oh, no. Oh, what are you? What are you? Oh, no. And we're going down the hole. Goodbye. Okay, I'm assuming whatever that is maybe got a hold of Christian as well. And that, that was a big hole. Okay. Oh? Oh no, please don't tell me this is going to be one of those run away from the uh, killer kind of things. Well, there's nothing inherently wrong with these types of games. <laughs> I'm always a very big uh a very big uh wiener when it comes to the kind of these kind of games. I believe I've done one type of game like this on the channel before. But Still, not the biggest fan. Okay. Not to mention, who knows when he's just going to pop up. Okay. Oh? Oh, we're in a giant maze, I guess. I... Don't know where that opened, actually. Oh? Okay. No? Not okay, okay. This is really weird. Okay, so this is a dead end. I jumped down from somewhere. Jumped down from over here, so let's go this way. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm assuming my grandparents, um, oh, oh, no, oh, no, okay, okay, my grandparents had a lot of secrets, please get away, please get away, oh, you can walk over, that's not even fair, that's not even fair, he was walking over holes, Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. What? Oh, there's a hole. Goodbye. Yeah. What are you going to do now, buddy? Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> Take that. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and just close that. I don't need him coming back up on us. Uh, we're gonna. There was one area over here. I just want to check it out real quick. If there's nothing interesting, we'll just cut back to me leaving that door over there. Okay, so it looks like there's an extra path over here. 
Uh, I'm not entirely... I, I'm thinking this is just a dead end. Meant to confuse the player to go this way and think they're going the right... No, no, this keeps going. Uh, what? But, like, where? No, this is a dead end. Okay, and then you just... I'm assuming just jump back down. Okay. Well, that's, that's nice of the developer to put away... To not really get cornered. You don't really see that in a lot of these types of games. Usually, if you take a wrong turn into a dead end, you're cornered and you're dead. But, yeah, that that's, that's nice. All right, so let's just leave. Yeah, let's just get out of here. I don't even know where this leads. Now that I think about it, we're definitely not at the house. Oh, no. This doesn't feel good. This does not feel good. Huh. Oh, hey, now that we've beaten the game, <laughs> you can see the uh, monster thing back there. Um... Kind of curious. I might take a quick second to find out what this is. Okay, let's uh, let's let's do some sleuthing. All right, so I went down this giant rabbit hole, and there's a bunch of numbers. There's an ARG going about, and I can't quite figure out what it is. This is a really good ARG. This is actually super creepy as well. Um, but. I, I need to walk everyone through what I've found so far. I might actually even join the Discord server. Who knows? I wanted to hit recording right here because this guy keeps walking around. It says, can you talk to him tomorrow is where I'm at. And then I have a code. It's like 0951 something, something, something. There's, it, there's a thing that says find them. There's a lot. There's a lot going on. And actually, I might pause this to go into their server. All right, so I've decided to run the game one more time and see what happens. Um, because it might be one of those situations where I do have to play the game again. So we're just going to jump right in. And I'll cut to anything that might happen. If it's the same dialogue and the same gameplay, I won't show it. And I'll just show as far as I got in the ARG that this game has. But um, kind of curious. All right, so I've kind of just gone around clicking everything and trying to do just anything. And, uh, well, I think I'm just going to let the killer catch me. We're assuming this is a killer. I'm just going to let them catch me and see what happens. The door is stuck. Run. Okay. Oh, it just starts you back here. Okay. All right. So I played through the game a couple of times. Could not really find anything else. Uh, I'll post all the, the the rabbit hole of ARG information that I have in the description of this video. If anyone else wants to kind of give it a give it a crack and see, you know what you can do with this, because I am lost. But aside from that, it it felt like a very um, normal run away from the killer kind of horror game. You know, something's happening at the house. And I'm assuming the ARG probably shines more light on the storyline, so I won't, I won't comment too much on that. In terms of, of gameplay, it kind of felt like a walking simulator. That, you know, uh, you did get little bits and pieces of lore here, which was nice, I will say that. You moved into a house your grandparents used to own. They have a deep, dark secret. Um, there wasn't really much to say about this. I think the ARG is probably what's... It, I wouldn't even say probably. It's definitely what's on my mind right now. Um, and I might revisit it in a day or two and try to crack that. So if I end this video now and then I figure something out, I'll tack on more like I usually do with every um, game I play. But as far as this goes, like I said, it's a nice walking simulator. The, the jump scare for the killer the first time is, is, you know, you have enough time to react. And this game isn't like other runaway from killer games where if you get cornered you're dead so uh, you know props to that i i always like the fact that you know 
it does it, it feels hopeless but it doesn't feel hopeless kind of situations the graphics were kind of blocky they remind me of like alpha ps1 kind of things you know very very laid back in terms of visuals and things like that the the sound quality was actually really nice i will say that the sound quality throughout the whole game it did give me panic so I, I you know i have some praise to give this game aside from the, the gameplay just being just a little too stale I, I did like where the game was headed and i really do hope someone figures out this arg so i can sleep in peace but with that being said as always this is godzi and thanks for watching